Good evening folks, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are not really going to be concerned much about the visibility because I can't really ensure that it's too dark over here. And right now we are working at around uh, say 8.30 to 9 p.m. Somewhat that's the time frame that we are working right now in. So what we are doing here is like we are uh, preparing the area, the rear portion which was completely rusted. Uh, the inset image is over here. And uh, that has been replaced with the formed seat with galvanized iron seat metal now there are other places which i would have discussed upon but there is one thing that i really wanted to discuss with all the folks who are having a tata sierra and that is this that uh, in our car we don't really have access to the inner portion that is the inner portion of uh, this particular section so what happens is like over the time uh, due to holes and uh, you know passes like uh, that may happen due to rust as it has happened over here you can see so what happens is like moisture and filth gets into it and then that starts corroding this entire area from inside so for that you don't really have uh, uh, you know any method otherwise to arrest that and uh, sooner or later what happens is like that uh, rust propagates and that damages this entire section so you can do few things first you can dunk the entire car into a primer solution or for that matter any rust protective coating but that's not usually some thing that's accessible to us all so what you can do is like uh, you can have access points like these which could be covered using uh, a round cover from tata 407's uh, door it might be somewhere here uh, i'll show you in the inset image itself so you can refer that and uh, likewise you can have one hole over there another over there on the b pillar then one at that corner and another at that corner so what will happen is like uh, using these access points you can access this area and you can paint the internal portion of it which uh, otherwise would be corroded likewise as you can't really know even uh, with a boom or a stick you can't really reach much inside this particular section you can see it's a box section from here so what you have to do is like you can make another access point from here and then you can access the half of it so that's how you can do it so these are the three access point one over here on the other side one over here and one over here so that you could have proper access to this area this area and this area so all these portions are safe now only this part is left for that you don't really have to make holes you can access this area from this point now some of you might be saying that there's a hindrance over here but as you can see you can access the zone from here and the lower zone from here also it's not fixed like it's not welded to it a spot welded or something so you can move it but to be on the safer side you can have a hole around this area which we will be making and then we can have an access to the internal portion too so that was what i was really you know planning to discuss with uh, most of the folks over here who are having sierra unfortunately i couldn't really get time in morning so that i could discuss uh, the things with you the development on the car has been you know really heartening most of the things on this side is done the upper portion is complete as you can see and has been properly coated with red oxide primer from inside also as well as from outside see that the a pillar is completely repaired on both the sides the outer portion as well as this uh, quarter if i may call it same goes with this side everything is done painted and secured we have also fixed the glass just to have a you know basic idea about the fitting of it we have also repaired this portion you can see the surface is not really that fine that will be taken care of after it hits the paint soft using polyester uh, filler or for that matter any other some sort of 
bondo aputti so that we can get done not really much of an issue that's what is the standard procedure you can see over here we have gotten the exact shape that comes from the factory and we have already discussed the process so that's much about it the remaining things obviously which we have to take care over here is like uh, we have already taken care of those things so i don't really have to discuss much you have to take care of you know proper rust protection so that's uh, the thing which i have been emphasizing specifically in case of tata sierra because somehow i feel that company should have done a bit better to you know completely protect the car from rust formation and other things but you can't really always blame the things on the company because they are also in rust for meeting production targets and other things so that's a talk for some other video so that would be all i guess uh, i'll conclude this video with this uh, information about uh, you know the access uh, points that i have made in my car i'm really sorry i can't really you know show it properly to you guys you can see it over here again so that be it i hope you guys really liked it till the next time stay tuned build it ride it